Ever wondered what your fibre scan results mean? Today, we will demystify these numbers for you. Fibre scan, also known as transient elastography, is a top-notch tool in the world of liver health. It's like a weather vane for your liver, providing a snapshot of the organ's condition. This non-invasive test measures liver stiffness and fat accumulation, two crucial markers in diagnosing various liver conditions. So, let's delve into what these measurements mean. First up, liver stiffness. This indicates the degree of fibrosis or scarring in your liver. The stiffer the liver, the higher the degree of fibrosis. FibroScan measures this stiffness in kilopascals or KPA. A normal range is between 2 and 7 KPA. Higher values suggest significant scarring, which might indicate chronic liver conditions like cirrhosis. Next, we have the CAP score. The controlled attenuation parameter, or CAP, assesses the degree of steatosis, which is a fancy way of saying fat accumulation in the liver. The score ranges from 100 to 400 decibels per meter, or dBAM. Values below 238 dBAM are considered normal. Higher scores indicate a greater degree of fat accumulation, which could point to conditions like fatty liver disease. So why is all this important? Well, by understanding your FibroScan results, you can take proactive steps to maintain or improve your liver health. For instance, if your results suggest a high degree of fibrosis or steatosis, you might need to make lifestyle changes or seek medical treatment. But remember, FibroScan is just one tool in the toolbox. It's a fantastic way to monitor your liver health over time, but it's not a standalone diagnostic tool. It's always best to discuss your results with your healthcare provider who can provide a comprehensive assessment of your liver health. So, there you have it. FibroScan is your liver's personal weather vane, providing a snapshot of its health and helping you make informed decisions about your wellness journey. Remember, FibroScan offers a non-invasive way to assess your liver health. Now that you know what FibroScan is, let's delve into what the numbers mean, starting with liver stiffness. Liver stiffness is a crucial measure that FibroScan provides, and it indicates the degree of fibrosis in your liver. Fibrosis, in simpler terms, signifies scarring in the liver tissue. It's a common response to injuries or diseases like chronic hepatitis or fatty liver disease. Over time, as the liver tries to repair itself, it ends up forming scar tissue which affects its functionality. So how does FibroScan measure this? It sends a pulse of energy through your liver and then records the speed at which that pulse travels. This speed is directly related to the stiffness of your liver. The faster the wave travels, the stiffer the liver and vice versa. Now, let's talk numbers. When it comes to liver stiffness, a normal range is between 2 and 7 kilopascals or KPA. If your FibroScan results show a number within this range, it suggests that your liver is relatively healthy and free from significant fibrosis. But what if the numbers are higher? Well, a higher value suggests that there might be significant scarring in the liver. Specifically, a reading between 7 and 14 kPa could indicate moderate fibrosis, while anything above 14 kPa might suggest severe fibrosis or even cirrhosis, which is the final stage of fibrosis marked by extensive scarring and impaired liver function. It's important to remember though, these ranges can vary slightly depending on the context, such as the presence of inflammation or the specific liver disease in question. It's always best to discuss your results with a healthcare professional who can interpret them in the context of your overall health. But in essence, the stiffer the liver, the more scar tissue is likely present, which can interfere with the liver's ability to function properly. Liver stiffness, therefore, is a key indicator of liver health. So, understanding your liver stiffness score can provide valuable insight into your liver's condition and guide you and your healthcare provider in making informed decisions about your liver health. Liver stiffness, therefore, is a key indicator of liver health. Another crucial part of your FibroScan results is the CAP score. But what does it tell us? Well, the controlled attenuation parameter, or CAP, is a measure of the amount of fat in your liver. Think of it as your liver's way of saying, hey, you're feeding me too much of the wrong stuff. CAP score is measured in decibels per meter, or dBM, and it ranges from 100 to 400. If your score is below 238, that's a good sign. Your liver is managing to keep the fat levels under control. However, if your CAP score is above that, 
It might be time to rethink your diet and lifestyle or seek medical advice. Now you might be wondering, why is having a high cap score a bad thing? When your liver has too much fat, it's like an overworked factory. It struggles to perform its functions like filtering toxins from your blood, storing and releasing energy and producing proteins. Over time, this can lead to inflammation, liver cell damage, and potentially serious conditions like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. But don't panic just yet. A high cap score doesn't automatically mean you have liver disease. It's just one piece of the puzzle. Your doctor will look at other factors like your liver stiffness, blood tests, and your overall health to get a complete picture. If your CAP score is high, it's a sign that you need to take action. This could mean making changes to your diet or exercise routine, or it might mean further medical tests and treatment. Remember, the liver is a remarkable organ. It's one of the few parts of the body that can regenerate itself given the right conditions. A high cap score is a wake-up call, not a life sentence. With the right care and attention, you can help your liver to recover and keep doing its vital work. A high cap score can be a red flag for fatty liver disease. So if your cap score is high, don't ignore it. It's your liver asking for a little TLC. And remember, your liver is too important to ignore. We've talked about fibrosis and steatosis, but what's the difference between them? And why does it matter? Let's delve into this. These two terms, fibrosis and steatosis, refer to distinct conditions that can affect the liver. Fibrosis, on the one hand, is a process where the liver forms scar tissue in response to damage or injury. This scarring results from chronic inflammation and can lead to cirrhosis, a severe and irreversible liver disease if not managed effectively. Steatosis, on the other hand, is a condition characterized by the accumulation of fat in liver cells. This can occur due to various reasons, including excessive alcohol consumption, obesity, or metabolic disorders. When fat builds up in the liver, it can lead to a condition known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease if the individual is not a heavy drinker. Over time, if not addressed, steatosis can progress to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, a more severe form of liver disease. Now, you might be wondering, why does it matter to distinguish between fibrosis and steatosis? Well, understanding these two conditions can provide essential insights into your liver health. For instance, if your FibroScan results indicate a high liver stiffness score, this could suggest fibrosis or significant scarring. This information can guide your healthcare provider to recommend specific lifestyle changes or treatments to prevent further liver damage. On the flip side, a high cap score on your fibro scan could indicate steatosis or fat accumulation. Knowing this can help you take steps to reduce this fat, such as adopting a healthier diet or increasing physical activity, which can in turn improve your liver health. It's crucial to note that both fibrosis and steatosis can occur simultaneously, especially in conditions like non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Therefore, understanding these two conditions and their implications can guide you and your healthcare provider in managing your liver health more effectively. In essence, the journey to better liver health starts with understanding. And understanding fibrosis and steatosis can help you better manage your liver health. Lastly, we cannot overlook the role of lifestyle in liver health. Our daily habits have a profound impact on our liver's well-being. In fact, adopting healthy lifestyle changes can slow down or even reverse liver damage in certain stages. Let's start with diet, the fuel that powers our body. Consuming a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains can significantly improve liver function. On the other hand, a diet high in processed and fatty foods can lead to steatosis or fat accumulation in the liver. This in turn can increase liver stiffness, a sign of potential fibrosis or scarring. Regular physical activity is another key element in maintaining liver health. Exercise helps to burn triglycerides for fuel and can also reduce liver fat. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session or a bike ride, make sure to incorporate some form of exercise into your daily routine. Now let's talk about alcohol. It's no secret that excessive alcohol consumption can be detrimental to liver health, leading to conditions like alcoholic fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. Moderation is key here. If you do drink, it's important to do so responsibly, keeping within recommended limits. 
But lifestyle changes are not just about what you eat or how much you exercise. It's also about regular health checkups. Regular monitoring, including fibroscan assessments, can help detect any early signs of liver damage. Early detection is crucial in managing liver conditions effectively and can provide you with the opportunity to make necessary lifestyle adjustments. It's also vital to remember that while lifestyle changes can significantly improve liver health, they should be implemented in conjunction with any prescribed medical treatment. Always consult your healthcare provider before making any drastic changes to your diet, exercise regime, or alcohol consumption. Remember, your lifestyle choices directly impact your liver health, and understanding your fibroscan results can help you make informed decisions.